So we know the length of this string. I've hooked up a string making jig here for endless loop strings. Put that on that peg, that post. So we adjust the length of your jig there and create about half an inch extra length on the jig setting. Tighten this up. Don't need this one anymore. And we rotate the posts and tighten. Load up the jig. I'm going to use fast flight for this string, but I would not advise using fast flight on this type of strings since the endless loop string has no stretch left in it. A Flemish string has some stretch because of the Flemish inlay. This has no stretch left, so it's really tough on your boat. Seven times with five. Seven. And fix. You can only make these uh, strings if you know how to make serving. So skip back to the other chapter and have a look how you make a serving and we'll do it right here. Attach to the post. Tighten up the jig and twist. One, two, Three towards the post, over the beginning, and then back to the other post. Without I was paying attention, I did not take away this string here, because I want the extra thickness. A Flemish string has double the amount of strands there. This is only seven now, so I wanted the extra bit of thickness of this bit of serving strap. towards the other side of the jig. I'm going to the serving thread on the post. We'll cut it off later. One. Three. Tighten the jig over the original three and back towards the other post. And 
me two serving jigs helps a lot in this. Otherwise you need to end the serving and then move uh, serving jigs to the other two posts. This saves a lot of time. And for the size of loop we actually want half this width, seven and a half inches, more than sufficient. Now we cut off the extra bit of serving. There. Make sure the fast flight in this case. The main string is no longer attached to those two winding posts. Take that away. That's no longer attached. Undo these screws. the post. And tighten again. Slide the swing there and that creates the loop size. Still some extra material left there. Create the size of loop you require. One, two, three. Go back and twist. This length of serving here uh, depends on the bow how long you want it. If you're using a uh, hunting recurve, this bit will touch the bow. So you want to protect the main string, your fast flight, as long as possible. In my case, I'm using a reflex deflex bow or an American style longbow. String only attaches text the bow there. So I don't need a very, very, very long serving. Create a loop, have the main string in between these serving threads and rotate inside the loop. Half an inch, there, hook this on. Twists there, nice and tight, and then it automatically uncoils at the other side. Can. Now, if this is very tight, lubricate with some string wax. Otherwise, the friction creates heat and the heat kills your sewing thread and it breaks. Hold on as long as possible, pull, 
tight but not over tight. And put away the excess material. The other side. One, two, three towards the post closest by. Over the first three towards the other post of the jig. And rotate. Make sure you make these two servings both in the same direction. Again, if you otherwise wind up the string a bit, give it a couple of twists to adjust the brace height. You undo one of the servings, so make sure they're both in the same direction. It's customary to make one of the two loops slightly bigger so it slides over your bow when storing the bow. And quite often people use one different color serving thread to indicate top or bottom loop. In the print, tighten up. Material, neaten up a bit, and the swing is done. You can, of course, apply the uh, center serving of the swing now, but then you would need to measure out where is the center of the swing in regards to the center of the bow, and so on and so forth. I'd like to give it a couple of twists now put it on the bow and apply the serving while the string is on the bow. Slide this over. Walk it over the knocks. Careful when brazing the bow. And this should again be around 7.5 inches. And it is. Put the center serving on.